What's up, everybody? It's your boy Ooch. I'm here with my brother Ooch, and we are back again. Once again, how y'all doing today? What's going on, ladies and gentlemen, children of all ages? It's your favorite brothers, of course, back at it once again for another episode of the Full Power Podcast. Alrighty. And so, without further ado, my man, how you doing today, this week? Going alright, you know. Could be better. Could not be worse. <laughs> <laughs> Could yeah. not be worse, yeah. okay. No, we're chilling, we're chilling. That's good. Yeah, so, um, yeah, we've been on an on and off, like, trend as of the last few episodes. I appreciate y'all sticking through, uh, sticking it out with us. And even worse on me, I literally never announce when there's not going to be an episode. I kind of just like don't say anything, which really sucks. So I am apologize for that. But uh, thankfully, it's only been like on and off for weeks. I'm not going to I'm not trying to say we're going to stick to a biweekly format. This podcast is a intended weekly episodic feature. So we're supposed to be giving you guys weekly episodes. Sometimes things come up, um, schedules kind of get mixed and wonked. Like for example, obviously another big elephant in the room, our boy Kai, the homie Kai's not here uh, because like he revealed to us in the last episode, I believe we recorded all together. Um, he's, he got a new job. So, you know, obviously like with scheduling and everything, things can change and, uh, it is what it is, so it's unfortunate, but of course, as always, we will miss Kai for this episode. And I, damn it, I wanted to talk, I wanted to get his reaction on one of these topics that we're talking about, aside from the manga chapter 81 review that we're gonna kind of fly by here really quick, because it was a fairly easy read, a lot of action took place in this chapter, which is really good. Um, And other than that, the other thing that we want to I want to obviously bring up all is the the new movie news that just dropped um, and a, a, a couple of very key talking points. I will say this right now. So without further ado, let me uh, get this man caught up with the with the super chapter and then we'll talk about it and then we'll go into the movie news. If you like video games and stream clips, then definitely check out my video game channel over at youtube.com slash uchigames1. That's youtube.com slash uchigames1. All right, Brandon. So this chapter this month wasn't, uh, it wasn't a bad one at all. Like I said, it was very action packed. Um, a lot of, I can't even say back and forth because gas was smoking these dudes. Like smoking. Like he was really... Uh, give, like first of all, the Goku and Vegeta, he handled them in two seconds. Damn. He, 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 he casted like a spell on them, like just by looking at them, and they froze. They couldn't move, like out of commission, oh, done. Fuck. Yeah, so they couldn't move, right? So of course, Granola is trying to defend them. But right when he was trying to take out Elik, who is the older brother of uh, of Gas, the guy who made the wish for him, to, for him to be the strongest in the universe, Gas was able to teleport him away from the punch. So I'm like, he's got instant transmission, but he could do it to other people. Shit's crazy, right? So of course, uh, Granola whiffs, right? He tries to shoot Elik with the finger guns, but Gas was too quick, broke this dude's wrists, like, like from here. Yeah. <laughs> oh Shit God. was crazy. So he's like screaming in pain. Like, I'm telling you, this chapter was actually kind of brutal. Not even gonna lie, now I think about it. And so when he does that, Gas shoots him like, finger beams to the fucking eyes blinds this guy so he's done no vision like and they show like they showed the shot of his eyes like sh like coat like closed but like the blood was coming out i was like oh they really they are brutalizing this freaking poor guy granola and then as he was falling back 
Dude, Elik takes his gun out and shoots him through the back out his stomach, bro. It was a whole one panel shot. And I'm like, like, it's it's the thumbnail of, of my reaction video for this for this chapter. Because that shot was ridiculous. I was like, they really just blew his stomach out like that? Like, Goku, Vegeta, Manito, completely in disbelief. They're speechless. So it's believed that they, they just killed him right then and there. Like, this dude's dead. Like, right. I'm like, wow, right? So this was like the first, uh, like, 10 pages already, right? And Goku and Vegeta are, like, trying to budge still. And Vegeta does the good old... Here's my fucking energy. <laughs> oh, shit. Here we go. Right. Let's get right. Yeah. Right back into the swing of Dragon Ball things, right? So, Vegeta, you know, pretty much gives him some hype shit like, you know, better than us dying here. You can still fight. So do something about that scumbag, right? And I'm just sitting here, man. I'm just like, bro, why? Why does it all, like, after all this growth that this man Vegeta does, he's so comfortable with just letting Goku fucking handle everything still. Like, Goku, Goku got the ice. <laughs> <laughs> Goku got the fucking ice. Man. This shit is stupid. Like, you would Not think, like, you know, maybe he would want to, you know, try, give it, give it a go. You know what I'm saying? Maybe he doesn't feel he's ready yet, man. See, no, that's fucked up. If he if he if he actually felt that way, that that's like what? Like he he really just he really just trained with Beerus. He got his his ultra ego form, which is essentially like the other route ultra instinct, like for the the gods of destruction. Like maybe he doesn't think he's stronger than Goku yet, because he just attained a new form. Like he doesn't he might not feel like. You know, like Goku's had it longer than him already, you know, like more experience and shit. So, yeah, you're probably, probably right. Think, he probably thinks fucking Goku, Goku probably should just take the handle. Yeah. Well, he takes the handle nonetheless. He instantly goes Super Saiyan Blue. So he charges that gas. Gas is still dodging everything that he's, he's throwing at him. And this is actually an interesting part. They had a little bit of uh, back and forth dialogue, Gas and Goku. And uh, so the one thing that Gas said that kind of triggered Goku, but I, this is something I noticed from Goku, which is actually the first bit of uh, outside of the, you know, granola getting overly smoked, right? This part, I really fucked with a lot. When Gas says, you broke free of my spell, good on you. Goku was trying to kind of like keep it together. Because obviously he just saw this guy kill Granola like two seconds ago. And of course, knowing the Saiyans, they get mad. They get pissed. You know, especially when you kill someone like for no freaking good reason. Mm -hmm. In one panel, Goku's like, like, you know, like, he's like, he's like, you know, like, what do they call that? When they're freaking like gr grinding your teeth, right? But then the okay. next shot right below it, he takes like a deep breath. And to me, I was like, oh, okay. He's trying to keep his cool. That's the ultra instinct lesson. Exactly. He's trying to really make sure that he's practicing that shit, which is important. And I like that. And even Goku said, he's like, I've got no real reason to fight you. So could you just leave this planet already? And Gas is like, calm and collected, are we? No rage over the death of your friend? And then Goku's like, oh, I'm mad. But anger is an emotion that messes with my special move. Mm. Ooh. Yeah, see? So this page was very, very character uplifted and driven for Goku. Because let's 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 face it, we see this guy all the time. He's always getting stronger. That much is always like you can always rely on Goku to just pull out some other shit, right? 
but this is something that we haven't seen this guy ever have in a really long time which is a character driven growth you know what i'm saying like he i mean obviously he's doing it for the said power up which is his mastered ultra instinct like whatever but nonetheless i think that's actually a really good trait that you know he's trying to show us so the, the, the their fighting continues and now gas you know how i told i told you that he can basically create weapons out of nothing mm -hmm. do you remember that okay so he created like like a wall full of spikes and he tried to drop it on goku from the top so goku dodges by by the like the skin of his teeth and then he makes two that try to sandwich him Ooh. i'm like yo this guy is crazy gr gas is od <clears throat> right so goku barely managed to get out of that but then gas is making all different ones coming at him from all angles goku's just playing freaking dodgeball with these things he takes one breaks another and meanwhile while he's while he's trying to handle that gas literally notices a nearby village that looked abandoned and he started just like taking though like the buildings and a train and throwing it at goku <laughs> so for a moment it looked like and this is what i said in my video i'm like they definitely just saw spider-man because they had a f they they had a little fight on the train and i'm oh, like good. yeah <laughs> like like oh funny part goku is at the front of the train like when Spy like when spidey was at the front of the train you know yeah so i thought that was kind of funny I was, and I was like, bro, even even they was watching Spider-Man. They and they they managed to fig they they managed to put that shit in the chapter. I thought that was hilarious. But nonetheless, the action is still going back and forth or trying to go back and forth. Goku can't really get any kind of actual offense in. And uh the only thing he's able to do is like fl like he was already being held up by his throat. Damn. But he, but he was able to throw Granola over him somehow. Made no sense, but he did it. It's Goku. And even when he did that, Granola still was able to get another train to hit Goku in midair. This, <laughs> this guy got no breaks. <clears throat> so Goku was really getting fucked up. Now this is where this dialogue between them two gets very interesting. Uh, gas says when it came to your combat oh wait i'm sorry when it came to combat your father's fierce resolve was like no other i do not sense that from you he is calling him out so hard and it's not even on some this type shit because for me i read this shit and i was like so you mean to tell me, even as a Super Saiyan Blue, Goku still don't have some shit that his dad did when he fought him 40 years ago? Uh, yeah, yeah. That's tough. That is very tough. So then he even says, are you truly his son? Like, yo. He's Ga <laughs> <laughs> Yo, gas is OD. He's questioning that. Bro. Yeah. Oh, so then, but so Goku's response was actually very interesting, though. I'll add on to it. He says, I hit my head when I was little and lost all my memories up to that point. So I don't remember a thing about my dad or the other Saiyans. And then Gas says, that explains it. You cannot comprehend who you really are then. I can never fall to one such as you. And as soon as he said that... My man made the train go into the fucking water to the bottom of the ocean and he still he was able to fucking whirlpool goku in the water while he was walking on the the ground level having him in a forced chokehold while underwater drowning already this guy gas is crazy 
But obviously, that that's a whole talking point I want to definitely bring up after... We're almost done with this chapter right here. Goku still manages to get his hand out of the water and tries to key blast him point blank. Gas fucking caught it and dished it right back. <laughs> Huge explosion. Water goes everywhere. Everybody gets wet. Like it's a fucking uh, Dorney Park ride. Yeah, Dorney Park. <laughs> right? So then, uh, let's see. I'm trying to. Okay, okay. So to the side, Gas notices. I, I guess at this point, it's my Naito, right? He goes, I see now. That explains how you people keep recovering after enough time has passed. And he looks over. My Naito is really trying his hardest to revive Granola. Because we thought his ass was dead, right? And we already uh, got confirmation from previous chapters that Manaito was not, like, the best healer Namekian. But he's really trying for Granola's sake, right? So, Gas then changes his freaking target to Manaito. He's like, I guess I'm gonna kill you now first. Damn. So, Goku, out of desperation, my man literally rushed over to, to gas he was able to actually grab him and then they he instant transmission the both of them to another planet that was nearby and funny enough the planet they go to well it's some random planet i have no idea what it is jacko was on it mm. and jacko was literally just like at some dude's like <clears throat> corner store and the guy asked him to fucking change a light bulb for him what the and then Goku and, and 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 Gas just appear, and they and they try to fight. They 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 fight a little bit before going elsewhere. Um, and they have they have some conversation about, you know, Goku says, uh, "What I can say is that you'd never be able to make it here without your version of instant transportation, and or teleportation." And Gas is like. You still believe a technique of yours is superior to my own? He's like, I sure do. I've been using that move for years and years, and it's not a simple one to master. Very Goku-like thing to say. But as soon as he says that, Gas, of course, being the strongest in the universe, tries to prove him wrong. And he tries to give him an instant transmission punch. Goku dodges. Ooh. But Gas goes in for an instant transmission kick. Goku could not dodge that. He had to block it. So, <laughs> he's he's trying to prove a point here that, you know, it don't matter if it don't my shit don't seem as masters as yours, I'm going to still fuck you up. So then he instant transmissions, then Gas, I guess, instant transmissions to chase him, and then the chapter ends with <laughs> Jacko in a panic like, "Sheesh. That idiot already found another nasty bad guy to fight." And yeah. he's like, I'm going to pretend I didn't see anything. <laughs> right? Okay. And there, and there's the chapter. So overall, before... There's a few things I want to bring up, unless you bring them up yourself. What do you think about this chapter? This month? I mean, it seemed interesting, actually. Like, like there was, there was some pointers and stuff. Um, little hints at Bardock and shit. <laughs> From uh, that guy. Um, I'm just wondering if... I'm kind of surprised in the chapter Goku didn't go Ultra Instinct at all or anything like right. that. Right. And I don't, I'm not, I don't know if or when he's gonna decide to pull that out. Maybe probably next chapter, I would assume. Yeah. Because um, I don't, I mean, because, because just describing how Gas is right now, like, I, like, if he doesn't go Ultra Instinct by next chapter, then it's like, he, it's like he's gonna get washed. Yeah. Yeah. So, so I mean, he's gonna have to pull that shit out eventually. Like real soon, eventually. Um, yeah, I mean, it would it would lucky be crazy if Goku trans instant transmission tip to Broly Planet. That's what I. That's honestly where I thought they were gonna go. Cause that I'm like, be low key insane. if if I was like, if if at any point they were to try to just throw Broly in there for no reason, it would have to be like that. Boom. He just instant transfers to the Vampa for no fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but... But, yeah, I mean... 
don't know. I don't know where it can really go. Because, I mean, I know gas at this point, strongest in the universe. Like, like I don't know. I don't, I don't know what type of level up Goku can obtain. Especially even going Ultra Instinct. Because did he go Ultra Instinct against gas yet? Before. Uh, early on, early on, and it wasn't even it, w it wasn't even for gas. It was, it was for was it granola. When, was it mastered? Uh, yes, it was mastered. So yeah, <laughs> so I mean, if if he already went mastered and what did he lost to granola? Pretty much. Yeah. So he... I mean, if he lost to granola, then. I don't know if he could actually beat Gas with it, but unless there's something further beyond Ultra Mastered Ultra Instinct, you know what I mean? Then, yeah. uh, then, then it's a potential. He, he could potentially hit that, but or 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 throw it, throw it, throw it in the fucking air, you know? Um, he he obtains whatever Gas was talking about, Bardock. Like whatever that factor is, whatever he's talking about, his fierce abilities. I don't, I don't know. That's just, that's just what I gathered. Okay. So this is like you said. This was a good. This was a pretty good chapter. Very interesting and enough to to take from, right? Yeah. Yeah. So a few of the talking points that I definitely wanted to highlight uh, going over this real quick before we move on to the super superhero movie news or revelations rather um, is that exact conversation between Gas and Goku where Gas is literally saying like bringing up how his dad had more of a fierce resolve that Goku did not have right and because Goku, you know, he fell on his head and he forgot everything. He don't remember nothing about his his past life. Not really, I shouldn't say his past life, but when he was a baby, you know, and his parents, his his the, his plan, he don't remember none of that. And obviously, since the retcon in Dragon Ball Super Broly, we we know that Goku was at least a few years young before they sent him off to Earth. So, and 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 usually when you're like two or three years old, you should be able to at least remember the immediate people that are around you the most, like your parents, your siblings, someone you might see often. It's pretty common. But my man had a super concussion. He don't remember nobody. He don't remember super shit. Concussion. He, yeah. Right. And because of that, which makes this. This really brings my it bring the things that happen in here bring a lot of my theories home. Right. Gas points out and he says after Goku reveals that he hit his head, and he doesn't remember anybody. He says that explains it. You cannot comprehend who you really are then. You know what that means that is, to me? That is a power line. That's a power line. That is a right huge there. power line. You, you go ahead. You know what that means? I mean, I'll let you, I'll let you say what you want to say. Bro, this is a seed. This is a seed that is being planted for those that <laughs> haven't realized it because I've realized it. Broly was enough for me to realize it. They are going to eventually dig within themselves for power they're not gonna rely on any higher deity like technique nothing no g ultra this ultra that it's going to be what they have to offer because the question already is if gas was so strong Right? And if he was fighting Bardock in his berserker rage state, and Bardock obviously at a point in time in the story of this universe where it's 40 years ago and no one's seen what a Super Saiyan is. No one even knows. Right? I don't even know if these motherfuckers even ever heard of Kaioken. <laughs> right? How did he manage to 
like handle himself against that gas and even mind you that gas wasn't even the strongest in the universe type gas right so you could obviously say this current gas is probably his strongest he's ever been but that still doesn't you know doesn't take away the fact that Mans was already strong as fuck back back in the day i'm sure he should have been able to handle a low class warrior like bardock bardock clearly has something he has something inside that he must have used to his advantage and that's something that even in a current modern day with super saiyan blue turned on this guy is looking at goku saying are you sure you're your father's kid like bro <laughs> this is an, again like i'm trying to uh, let me reiterate this is a seed that is being planted to get us primed for them bringing out super saiyan 4 they're gonna bring out a form that is literally going to resemble or basically be the retcon for super saiyan 4 whether they call it super saiyan 4 or they give it a brand new name primal instinct whatever it doesn't matter what the name is they're gonna have the fur they're gonna have the fucking the black hair the red eyeliner the tails are coming back they're going to dig deep within themselves and they're going to use their true natured power that they were born with that's a some that's something that they should really drive home in dragon ball if they want to make anything make the most sense they should they should they should real realize that and they should make it a point where if you have your own power right it's something that you're born with that you can develop over time naturally through training and whatever that should be your strongest shit disregarding anything else that you learn like yeah you can learn how to utilize god key and all that shit and you can use kaioken and whatever right but if you got something that you was born with naturally that you're not even fucking honing bro that shit yeah. should be the best so that's what i think that is alluding to and i'm pretty sure this is not the last time we've seen this and this is not the first seed because remember i've said this in plenty of episodes and plenty of videos before guys this broly was the start as soon as they said i think he just tapped into his ozaru form that is all I needed to hear. That is all I fucking needed to hear. I was like, oh! He is a Super Saiyan 4 low-key. <laughs> <laughs> His own fucking version. Absolutely. So, the other talking point that I also... That I, I wanted to bring up. Um, let me just quickly look through this. Um, was it before this or? I think it was before this. Um, damn. Wait, what? There was two things. There was this, and then there was something else. Maybe it was before. What the next topic? Well, not the next topic, but the uh, there was there was another talking point that I wanted to. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Oh, from I remember. The chapter. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, I'd imagine that uh, since it's February and this chapter came out, the new movie is slated to release in April in Japan. That's two months from now. Now, as long as things are still on schedule and there's no delays or setbacks or anything like that, that's still happening for April. Which means... That this chapter or this arc should presumably end by the time that movie comes out like i don't remember <clears throat> actually let me google it really quick so i don't know and they're never gonna animate it <laughs> <sighs> i can already see it bro 
So, okay. So, oh my god. Okay, so check this out. I did a quick search. And, okay. So, here's how Dragon Ball Super Manga works. They usually come out between the 18th and the 20th of every month. So, this then that last chapter could come out literally right before that movie drops on the 22nd of April in Japan. And that is a Friday in Japan. So... So basically what I'm trying to say is, is that this chat, th th this arc is ending like soon. Like next chapter, Granola should be healed. It's inevitably just going to be the the two like granola versus gas they're gonna be the ones that the the duke it out goku may you know assist a little bit they might have like some kind of duo moment which would be fucking stupid because vegeta's just gonna be chilling there right there frozen the fucking whole time right this man like, always like gets normal. cucked like normal always i don't know how like dude <sighs> I don't know. Yeah, he's I, gonna be watching that shit like the fucking Majin Buu fucking scene. Goku, I knew you were better than me. Oh, <laughs> oh my Goku, god! I, knew you were better than me, Larry. I really hope that this doesn't happen. I, I honestly, at that point, I just hope that once Goku sees that Granola's good, he just chills with Vegeta. Just let this See, guy that, finish it. That's that's the fucking that's the shit I should show all the fucking dummies that pick Vegeta over fucking Goku. Just just watch this one scene of Vegeta watching Goku. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah like that's, after. That, that's the only thing you gotta show people that love Vegeta and be like, Vegeta's strong. Oh yeah, Vegeta's stronger than Goku. Oh oh yeah. Oh really? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> that's I, th I think this says otherwise. <laughs> like, I'm dead. Yeah, pretty much. But I, like I said, that is the part that I really hope that doesn't happen. Cause it's just like, dude, this guy, this guy Vegeta got a whole ultra ego form and everything. And yet the final climactic finish is gonna be Goku and Granola. No, it should, they should just leave it to Granola. He's, I mean, unl unless they fuse. And I mean, the one, the one thing that would be crazy and I can foresee this at some point, like, Vegeta and Goku fuse and, so, and now since Vegeta got Ultra Ego and Goku has Ultra Instinct a new form can be announced between the both of them and combine both so you're really ambitious to even fucking say that because be I crazy it would be crazy but with two chapters left I highly doubt they would they would even fit that in there because I don't think they could do it if it's ending that soon, like you say. But yeah. like, but that I mean, I would I would use that to challenge this guy. Because <laughs> unless Granola is actually gonna win, like I don't I don't know who like you know they're yeah. making Gas seem unbeatable with the amount of shit he's pulling off. Yeah, I I'm gonna. I'm gonna go on a limb and say that I'm gonna stick to my guns. I really do think that this arc is ending by the time the new movie comes out. I mean, if I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I just feel like that's a really weird move to have a movie that takes place after what your current your, your current readers are reading. You know what I'm saying? Even if people are are well aware, that's fucking stupid. Like, what? Like, that makes no sense. Like, I I, I would hate to know that this shit is out of order on purpose like the arc is still going to be continuing after the movie's already out there you know what i'm saying like that's whack now the only thing i'll accept for it though is if it lines up with when the uh american release comes out like so let's say if it doesn't come out until like may or june and the arc is still going on in the manga. I mean, I guess it's okay for us because we're we still won't be able to see that film until it gets subtitled and released overseas. So we'll have time to, I guess, enjoy the upcoming chapter. So at that point, then sure, this arc could continue. Because let's face it, 
Who haven't we fucking seen yet? Frieza. They dro They were freaking naming this guy so often throughout this arc, especially in the beginning, that it was like, okay, it's inevitable. Frieza's showing up at some point. Now, I almost feel like he's just going to show up at the very end in the corner, like laughing, like, mm, 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 mm. like he was peeping the entire time, but he's just not going to do anything. And that's, that's your, here you go. Frieza was in the arc, but not really type shit. I don't know, man. I mean, I feel like there's no structure as in as for who could possibly beat Gas. Essentially, it seems like Granola is the only answer, but I already named one type of hypothesis. It's it's Goku and Vegeta fuse, and they 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 tap into that Ultra Instinct ego form. You feel me? And then they go at it. Or, I mean, if they if they want to do some weird shit fucking make Frieza <laughs> add Frieza into the fight with a new form that challenges fucking gas for for some time or you know okay th throws them <laughs> off guard throws them, I don't know that would be the epitome of a curveball that right. that's a screwball fuck a curveball because all this build up for all these characters involved Goku and Vegeta Granola even gas and then fucking freezes the one that just comes in and just offs gas? Nah. I mean, that would be very strange to make Frieza be able to even beat gas because then that would inevitably make him stronger than Goku and Vegeta. And then that would be a problem in, its, uh, in itself. <laughs> yeah. A very, a very big problem. That would be a problem on a whole different bunch of levels. Because how the fuck are they going to explain that Frieza is now the actual strongest in the universe off of no wish unless he wished it on himself with another set of Dragon Balls? I mean, yeah, like unless, unless like the Dragon Balls come into play again and they and they like devalue their power back to normal or some shit. So that way they have the chance of actually beating gas etc then then mm -hmm. i don't know what other way they're gonna actually win or who's gonna beat gas you know whether it's granola or somebody else i yeah, yeah like i like 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 i truly believe just based off of the theme of this entire arc the whole strongest in the universe conversation it just makes the most sense to have granola be the one to defeat gas because this is essentially the fight of who the real strongest in the universe is since they both wished it on themselves to be that but you know because like even 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 the godly levels of power that uh a goku vegeta fusion with uh, an ego instinct form you know possibly being introduced that shouldn't be strong enough still at that point you know yeah <laughs> That would that would be insanity. That should be the strongest. <laughs> that yeah. should be the the strongest option. It should Especially be because like, man, I haven't seen granola just because I don't read the shit or like you know see the pictures like that. But you like, should. But like, I don't know. I don't know if he's gonna finish the job. Well, we'll have to see. Just like how we didn't think Trunks was gonna do it, he's the one who inevitably he he's the one who delivered the final blow to freaking Goku Black back then. I mean, but even if Granola finishes the job, they're like Goku Vegeta got to deal with this guy. Well, no, because once once Gas is done, then like they're good. Like Granola and them, they don't have beef now because Granola knows the truth, so he's not gonna come after them anymore. He, Granola mm. was always like realistically a good guy he looked at goku and vegeta as the bad guys because he didn't understand what he, he was sasuke this entire time this man was told lies his entire life and found and finds out when it was almost too late pretty much all right fair enough fair enough so that's pretty much a chapter guys hope you guys enjoyed that portion of the episode we're gonna go into some of the super superhero movie news that recently dropped 
not so, not so much news. I mean, I should say newsworthy because this is this. This first thing I'm gonna bring up. Huge deal. Huge fucking deal, right? Let me let me let me just start start off by saying that. Because Brandon, they finally fucking did it. They finally did it. The first thing. I, I'm going to give you three guesses. You have to try to guess what I'm referring to. Does that have something to do with Gohan? No. Surprising. <laughs> <laughs> so they're not buffing him up. All right, so he's chalked. Okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, what else can we... What else? Give me like... Uh, I guess hints or something. I don't know. Okay. Because if it's not Gohan, I don't know what the fuck's going on. Okay. This is a very easy hint. It's not about Gohan, but it's about relatives. Go 10? Yes. Don't tell me. Go 10 is stronger than Gohan. No. Okay. Okay. This is a visual. Okay, so what I'm looking at is a visual. Okay. You grew? You got it. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Damn, so they finally fucking did it. So finally... I'm gonna wait, can I just copy the image? Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna send it to you. Look at it. Take a look. You're in the corner. Holy shit! They're huge. <laughs> Yo, I I like my boy Trunks too. Shit. Mm -hmm. Yes, well, sir. So I'm calling it. They're gonna be stronger than fucking Gohan. Well, yo, but here's the here's the crazy part, right? This movie, there's a few things to take from this, from just them being on the fucking cover, okay, or, or on this picture. They are literally finally aged, which all but confirms when this is taking place. Because I, everybody that's obviously be, been in a unanimous agreement that this movie is going to literally be when the the end of Z takes place, Tournament of Power, or not Tournament of Power, World Tournament, excuse me, right? This is, this is pure proof pan was enough because it was oh, like okay yo, yo, yo. android 18 short hair yeah you peeped that yeah yeah boy okay 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 that peeps <clears throat> yeah i guess you could i guess that's another little that's a hint. point right yeah so but but the, the the thing that everybody has literally been waiting on are these children ever gonna fucking stop being immortal children? And are they gonna grow up? And boom. This movie is End of Z confirmed. Okay? It's confirmed. And look, they're doing a fusion dance. So you know what else that means? This movie oh, thanks, will have, for the first time ever, understand this. We're not talking about no video games. We're not talking about no... Absalon, we're talking about an official piece of Dragon Ball media in in a theatrical release nonetheless. We will potentially see a teenage version of Gotenks. We never saw that in GT. Never. For GT's years. Fake as fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I love pointing that out. <laughs> Dude. Nah, you could blame Goku for that tw the both times. I'll never for I will never forget that shit in GT. That was one of the things I fucking hated on GT was the two chances that they had to to fuse into Go Tanks. Goku cucked them and stopped them both. Each time he was like, "It's not gonna be enough. It won't. It won't be. It won't. It won't be enough." <laughs> you'll, you'll waste energy. No, oh. something like that. I don't know. Stupidity. No, but this is this is dope because now. Now we get to see what they do with them as far yeah. as like what 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 what's their role in this fucking shit now like i mean are we... they training are they fucking 
fucking doing homework like Gohan. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Man, I need to get to, I need to get to the bottom of this shit. Okay. So, well, those are obviously good questions to ask, and obviously we'll find out. I'm sure once we see this movie. I don't really think that they're gonna have that crazy big of a role, and uh, and and if and if this if this uh, poster is of any indication as to what might actually happen with these two characters, they may attempt to do fusion. But if you look closer, look at their fingers. They're gonna fucking get in the fat go tanks because it's not aligned. No, they're gonna troll. No fucking shot. Yeah, no shot. <clears throat> well, it's just a picture. But it is just a picture, but I mean, that nah, could be I mean, a troll, 100%. Oh, it's probably gonna fucking happen. It's a fucking movie. They're just gonna throw that shit in there and fucking make people laugh and all that bullshit. Yeah. Like, and then they're gonna have to wait the, the fucking timer, do it again. Fucking yeah. trolls. I, and, and, and that's what's gonna suck, because I would love to see Teenage Gotenks for the fucking first goddamn time in ever right because like it feels like more than 20 years essentially we've been waiting to see something like that on some official level shit that wasn't dragon ball super uh heroes the card the, you know the card game and the video games and all that shit right this this would be a humongous first time glimpse but for the movie the first time we're gonna see this guy is Fat Gotenks. I mean, they better. Let me, let me tell you something. If they don't fucking give us what we want, <laughs> <laughs> and they just and they just throw Fat Gotenks in, and they don't give us the full built version, there's gonna be some mad. There's gonna be a lot of issues. <laughs> yeah. They can't just do that and fucking not make them do it again. Like that shit would just be depressing. Yeah, the most uh, I see, the most I see happening is like they do it, right? And then it's like he's fat tanks, but then like towards the end of the movie, like when everyone's like, "Oh, haha, ha, happy ending," then they do it, and it's the right. And then we see regular go tanks in no action for like ten seconds. And all right, cool. That will be stupid. Ass. But but most likely, what's gonna end up happening is if it's only fat tanks, that's literally divisive. They're gonna do that just so that we have now something else to look forward to in a future arc or something. I mean, but that means they're they're gonna actually work with them. But then like, I don't know. Like I don't. I I just need to know like what they're doing <laughs> as far as are they training. Because if they're not, then, I mean, Go Tanks is always going to be, like, some standardized fucking shit. Like, as far as, like, a power cap. Well, because, like, I mean, they're but they're in teenage form, so technically, they should be stronger. They should. They should be stronger, but you know what? Let me let me just tell you this. If, it, if, if their clothing is any indication of what they might do... Trunks is in fucking casual street clothes. Okay. I swear. Goten, cool. he looks like he's. Bro, Chi Chi's dressing this fucking guy. There's no fucking way. Uh, yo. This he, is not. Go, yo, I'm, t I'm just saying. Goten looks like he's on some, like. He's on some studious fucking shit. Or he's like. Or maybe he had, like, a, he got, like, a small part time job working yeah. at, like, a, oh, like a yeah, restaurant. Wow. Yeah, I swear, bro. <laughs> I don't know, man. And that and 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 that could be that could add to the whole element of, oh, look. Their their fusion is off. They haven't fought for a while. They're for out of practice. Years. Mhm. Mm so, yep. These are things that we have to because I mean, when you look at everyone else, like, look at the people on the other side. They're all in their battle attire. They're clearly ready to go. Goten and Trunks are not ready to go. <laughs> like, they're not. So I mean, but they could mid-movie, mid they could, like, switch sure. 
I hope so. I, 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 I fucking hope so. Hope so. Shit. <clears throat> now, obviously, the other thing about this before I go on to the other, the last talking point about this, but about the movie stuff, right? Is Trunks has blue hair. Hmm. Not a big deal to me personally, because the only other the, the, the other thing I could say to that, because you know, people are probably gonna be like, oh, but why? Like his hair was purple. The thing I, I could say to that is sometimes with kids, their hair texture and color may change as they age. That's actually a thing. Now, this is an anime, so naturally. If you see them fucking having purple, uh, you know, as a, as a, as a child, and then next thing you know, they're going blue. It's kind of extreme, but in essence and conceptually, it's a it's it's a real thing. And I mean, we'll we'll know the difference between teen trunks and fucking past trunks now, I guess, as far as hair color goes. Well, yeah. So. I mean, it, it's, it, I mean, because it's, I mean, it's, it's kind of weird why they decided to originally go with Trunks' hair as purple. But I think, you know what's funny? I think Geekdom actually did a video explaining that. And realistically, Trunks' hair was always intended to be blue. But for some reason, they made it purple i don't know if that was an error i don't have that information available to me i'm not gonna obviously watch the fucking video mid podcast but that was something he did a video on already and if i remember correctly that's kind of what they originally wanted anyway so it seems like with everything that they're doing with dragon ball it seems like they're just trying to make ongoing corrections to how things should have been or originally intended from back in the day to now you know like they're they're making all these things happen so like who knows like imagine in like a few years they have like a like a they have like a, a flashback scene and kid trunks has blue hair <laughs> like instead of purple that would kind of be wild but you know, if, if the objective is to kind of make it so that everyone try, they, they try to make everyone remember Trunks for always having blue hair, then it's going to take time. Like, I remember when they brought Future Trunks back and his hair was blue. They were like, bruh. Like, they really were like, oh, did he have blue hair? Huh? What do you mean? Did he have blue hair? This motherfucker had purple hair. But whatever. Hey, future, future. All right. So... The last thing. Oh. Now, Brand, I want... all from the picture? No, 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 no. There's something else. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you this other picture right now. Now, before I send it to you, I want you to just think about what your, what your big brother has been talking about. It could happen in this movie. Small chance. The, 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 the teases and the hints, they speak for themselves. They speak volumes to you, boy. What do you think this next picture might tease? <laughs> I mean, anything with Broly? No. Look, this is not Broly. Bardock? No. That's no. weird. No. That's not even a part of that. One more no. chance. I mean, what are you? What are you even talking about? Fuck. Definitely not Gohan. <laughs> <laughs> if it's Gohan, I swear. Take a look at this and look very closely. What the fuck we got here? What the fuck is this? Is that Cell? No. <laughs> there ain't no fucking way that's so bruh you think they're gonna bring him <laughs> you think they're gonna bring him in this fucking movie i literally predicted this months ago a long time ago as soon as to, to put a date on how long i've been saying this for 
I straight up said the second they showed us that trailer with Gohan um in the classic teen Gohan gi and the haircut I was like oh my god they might even just bring Cell back now because but if how? because if he if go so see, the thing is it's a it's confirmed it's a confirmed thing Gohan is playing a main role in this film like he's going to be like one of the lead characters getting a lot of the screen time and will most likely have some sort of definitive position in whatever this climactic battle or moment is and if they made this man look like how everybody clamors over Gohan. Go people that are humongous Gohan fans don't realize. Some of them might do. But most of them I feel like are in denial as to why they even love this guy so much. It's because of his moment against Cell, bro. They're gonna recreate that shit in this but movie they, but they need to do a lot more explanation a lot more explanation like like how is he how is he alive again dude what, what brought him back that, i mean it's a pro they could probably make it easy yeah like but, that that part but, is doesn't make it doesn't matter but they they need to make the motive they need to make that at least make sense like you know listen like whether whether it's from these goons that bring him back for some odd reason or somebody else brings him back but it it, it would be villain oriented as far as who brings him back and i i wouldn't say frieza would bring him back because why well of course right but like frieza is probably not going to have any role in this film probably but, not but look the red ribbon army is involved they are always up to some shit i'm sure but what makes them think of self we will we'll, we will find out <laughs> like, we what? that like i said that part right now immediately is not important it's the fact that this is a this picture is like off of a scan from a magazine most likely uh it's from v jump most likely right and this is something that geekdom shared and literally this guy says don't say i didn't warn you but meanwhile, I've been saying this shit for months. That but guys fight cuz <clears throat> I mean, you see the orange suit. So is that Goku? Yes. Or is, so so we're going to see Goku in this film. Goku? Yes, of course we're seeing him in this well, film. Well, I know we're seeing Goku in the film, but like it seems is he fighting Cell? Like, oh, come on. Not? You don't think he's going to fight Cell? Dude. I mean, if we want Gohan to Yo, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I just want you to know. I just want you to know. Storyline wise, this is fucking perfect. This is perfect. Goku will wash Cell. Hold on. At this point. Hold on. <laughs> hold on. Yo. I'm like, what, what are hold we on. talking about here? Dude, what are, what are just, li here? just listen to me for a second, okay? Understand this. If they, if, if, this is a big if. But I'm I'm pretty confident Cell's coming back in this movie. I I felt like they're definitely going to, like I said, way back for months now. Understand, they're bringing an old character back. Do you think he's gonna be plain Jane? That's it. No, no, nothing new. He's gonna come back with something new. So he's been training and fucking. No, but oh, no, but see, no, 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 see, see, this is what you're doing. This is what you're doing. You're thinking inside Square. the box. Get the fuck out of the box. Get out. Out of the box. Like the fucking Disney Channel show. Out of the box. Get the fuck out. Okay? Get out of the box and start thinking there. Okay? It is not a matter of, oh, he was training in hell. No! It doesn't matter well, if for, he was training well, okay, in hell or not. Okay. So, so for him to even, square one, so for him to even <sighs> come back to this planet, right? Alive. Because that's key word. Alive. Not yes. dead. Alive. Someone has to wish him back. So if somebody wishes him back, then the, I don't even know who's going to do this, right? But whoever does, maybe they 
have like a double wish i don't know they bring him back plus he gets something but i don't see that even happening at least the him coming back is probably the most important part but what is he gonna do fucking train like <laughs> limited time brandon like, what's going on or he's gonna absorb people what is cell he's an android bingo <laughs> guess what androids so, so we're gonna fucking, are uh, created so we're gonna fucking go into the laptop and shit and <laughs> fucking orchestrate a fucking and a cool <laughs> hey you know what's crazy isn't it just so convenient that there's two fucking villains or characters that are gonna be right there for him to absorb oh did ya did you not think it oh my cell is fucking coming back it's not, son. But it's, not even, it's not even like there are two people that like like will you know give them a new form or anything like that like How they're do not you know they're that? not an, they're not androids yeah, i'm pretty sure they are that Those one two that number one and number two dude i'm pretty sure they're androids i think i'm i'm pretty sure they are even if they're not it don't fucking matter i mean i mean but but even like the thing is is if cell were to absorb like regular people yeah his power jumps but it's not like he literally gets a new form like what yeah. if this is a brand new type of cell how's that even possible why wouldn't it be possible do you realize they come up with shit off rip out of their ass all the time not by like how would it be a new cell if the cell we defeated like you know like well, that cell has to come back well that's okay so that's the thing right so they can i'm sure it's not that hard okay unless hold on unless this fucking little fucking scientist guy <laughs> over there with the with the little purple suit yes. whoever, whoever's the fucking commander here can can operate a uh a, a reprogramming to this fucking guy yeah dude like dude come on they were able to j fucking try to biogenically biogenic whatever the word is they were they in in previous movies they tried to fucking clone broly yeah but those are fake ass movies they're i'm just saying but they're fake ass movies i only bring those up because conceptually doing something like this is not alien it's like and especially considering that it was it, it was an android kind of thing you don't think that androids right since they were since they're fucking machines that they couldn't that, that there was no data or any kind of backups or something that these people could have access to because the only thing that we were ever made aware was that this is dr Jero. These yeah. are the androids. This is Cell, right? We know that Jero made the androids. And then Cell is the ultimate one who, if he absorbs any of these androids, he becomes more perfect, right? And that's it. But, but when you create machines, you're in a factory, you're in a lab, right? You would think these smart ass motherfuckers would have written all these notes down or had backups or had anything of this matter to then repurpose possibly later down in life but but because that's never been seen it's never been if it never happened that could be a possibility all right so if you're telling me these these these, these two goons right here right purple purple and red purple and red yeah unless these guys are smarter than fucking Jero and have actually created these two fucking goon he goon heads uh number one and number two as androids and they're qualified as androids right unless unless they have something i, I mean if the motive if the motive is to to get cell back essentially they made number one and two for whatever reason but they have something greater like within their program or whatever to essentially reprogram cell when they wish him back then then your little thing can work i guess i don't know. i honestly now that now that cell is in play i really think this movie is going to be fucking fire the the evolution of how i thought this movie was really going to be has totally taken a fucking 180 from the beginning i thought this movie was literally going to be shit now 
I cannot wait to fucking go see it. Because I, mean, I really think it's gonna I, I think it's gonna surprise people in ways that they did not realize, and it's gonna make people like you actually fuck with it because this is what all of y'all have been waiting for. Y'all wanted Gohan to come back up and retake his fucking place as one of the most respected and highly acclaimed highly fucking looked at characters one of the strongest he's gonna get back to that point for a moment in this movie I'm telling you this is gonna be the rematch that people didn't realize was gonna fucking happen and cell is gonna fucking fight gohan in 2022 and that sounds like some good shit to me right there i'd rather see go tanks fight cell <laughs> Hey, yo. I Listen, mean, they're teens. Fuck it. Dude. Ah, man. I. And honestly, as far as what you were saying with those two, with the, with the, with the two red ribbon guys, like the dude in the purple and the red, the suits, I feel like they don't necessarily have to be smart to just create sell. Their business, they look like businessmen. They're just rich where they got money. They could, they probably have connections. They probably know people. That could get them in line to get what they want and who knows who knows maybe there's another character or something else that takes place in this movie that's going on in the background that someone else is recreating or repurposing or you no know, cell is is here mm. and and those two other androids that the other red ribbon army guys got they don't realize that those two dudes are gonna be fucking food for Cell. And that shit's gonna, that's when shit's gonna get crazy. So. We'll see. I guess we'll, we'll just have to see. Yep. So I can't wait. I hope sooner than later we do see that image and we, and we see more, uh, more of, you know, more news I mean, to honestly, come. If, if Cell is actually gonna be in this movie, this probably they're probably gonna show an actual picture before the movie comes out, so that shit gets blown up. Yup. And people actually come. You know. Yeah, man. They can't have. See, that's the thing, and that's what only, that's the one thing that sucks about today's time, is that, and this goes for everything. Well, some handle it better than others, like Spider Man, for example, handled it perfectly. No trailer showed uh toby and andrew none of them and i commend that no there was not a single promotional picture graphic anything nothing i mean but but none of that had to happen because because once the multiverse was you know once that shit was in play like people already probably had that feeling yeah that but see that's happen. that's different though you can give you can give teases to people you can say here's some of the pieces guys it's up to you to make of what it uh, make this puzzle what you will. But as long as you don't you don't have to you don't have to say to people, "Oh, that's correct." Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Like you don't have to say none of that shit. The difference here is look at the last time where the Dragon Ball fucking did anything was was Broly movie, right? They fucking they told you everything. They literally told you everything. It wasn't it wasn't about teases. If they left it at teases, it literally just would have been, oh yeah, we're, they're gonna put the Legendary Broly film, the Bardock special, and Fusion Reborn in theaters months prior to the official release of Dragon Ball Super Broly. Just because out of all the other fucking movies, they picked those three. So, mm. to me, clearly I was like, oh, so Bardock's gonna be in there. Gogeta's gonna be in there. Obviously, bro, it's a Broly movie, right? For me, it made sense. But no, they had to go uh, for, uh, uh, steps further beyond that because, because it was through the video games that they, they spoiled Gogeta. And then, literally, like, during the premieres, they were literally handing out those little pamphlets that had Gogeta's on uh, Gogeta Super Saiyan Blue right on the fucking thing. Yeah. 
like yo there's a there's a there's a meme that's out there and it literally is like imagine not seeing any trailer any bit of news any anything in regards to the super broly movie and then you're going to the theater and you get handed that <laughs> that shit would suck like mm. dude they, they literally they told you all the main things that were going to that you could definitely rely on being in that film i mean it's still sold that's all that matters it's sold oh yeah it, it it obviously right and 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 that but that's what i'm saying unfortunately this is the this is the kind of the time period that we live in where you kind of have to a lot of companies feel like they have to show their hand in order to guarantee their their sales and shit and their profits yeah 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 but i mean yeah i mean it's one thing to show sell like you know confirm that he's gonna be in the movie but then but then i mean as that's really all you would have to show to be honest because because then it'll um be more interesting to see how he gets into the movie because yeah, 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 yeah. all, all we know now all we know is that cell's dead so we like, want to we want to see back? how it happens right yeah 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 but yeah like like you said just like with broly they're gonna show him they're gonna confirm it i don't i highly doubt they would leave just, that out i just i mean it's one thing to show him but it's one thing to see him in another form <laughs> he's gonna get a new form well, 100%. sure, yeah, he has to, but the picture, that's what matters. <laughs> like, if they show him in a new form, people are going to be like, what the fuck? So, I can't but, wait. I can't wait to hear my man say perfect once again. It's been so long. It's going to be more than perfect. Oh, yeah, he's like, going to be on They're going to give shit. him something else. Yeah, that's all the hype right now around uh, this new movie is that the, the the children are finally aged up after fucking decades and cell actually might be in this so guys th like, again for those that listen i appreciate y'all you know supporting and everything and i really do appreciate those that always believe in me because i have a track record okay i've been predicting shit for a long time and this this is just another one that's gonna be on my fucking list I can guarantee you that. Because you're talking to the dude who literally predicted Dragon Ball's existence coming back during the drought. When there was no new episodes, when there was nothing outside of Kai and video games. This is also the same guy who predicted, not just predicted, but I just knew Broly was going to be that dude. To be taken out of the non-canon purgatory and have a place in the actual main storyline canon. You'll see. Sal's gonna <laughs> be in that shit. So, uh, anything else you wanna add or leave with the people? Um, I mean, this could be up for another possible discussion, but it's more so like, if he's gonna be in this movie, then is he gonna die in this movie? Or is he gonna be like a Frieza? Oh, okay. And like kind of keep him lingering around, like he escapes or some shit, whatever. I won't even answer that because I do want to talk about that next week. So yeah, so that's uh... that's a good one. All right, so yeah, keep your uh, keep those comments locked in and uh, answer Brother Uzi's question. What do you guys feel like Cell's involvement is going to lead to? Is he gonna? Is he going to ultimately get defeated like he did back in the day? Or is he going to be like a Frieza type character where he'll maybe get defeated, but, you know, he'll come back around or he'll escape or whatever. So that would be very interesting. But in uh, to wrap things up, guys, thank you all for listening to another episode of the Full Power Podcast. If you're trying to hear any topics or other discussion points, Definitely hit us up at fullpowerpod at gmail.com. That is fullpowerpod at gmail.com. Leave your comments in on the YouTube version, of course, as always. And make sure you are, please, answering the Spotify polls and whatnot. Because any type of feedback is better than no feedback. It's been your boy, the brother Ooch. Your homie right here in front of y'all. We will see y'all next time. Make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power protect you. Keep it locked loaded right here on this channel. Stay safe. Stay, stay safe. 
Stay clean, stay inside. We'll see y'all next time.